Hinch, Dulwich at the weekend. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the game? Um, obviously going to be a tough game for us. Um, I think they're arguably the best team we've played all season. Um, two new at our place. Uh, Pope got sent off, I believe, at, at Bognor. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a tricky game. They play a similar sort of fashion, similar sort of style. Uh, formation is quite similar. So, I think it's going to be a good spectacle for the league, I think. Um, both both try and play a certain way. And we're just hoping that both teams don't sort of cancel each other out by systems being similar. Have your plans or preparations changed at all with the game being on the Sunday? And how do you think that will affect the players if it will? No, yeah, we've. We'll stay the same. Um, I was looking at maybe a Saturday morning session, but just with um, the pitch iron and stuff like that, it's um, hide out on a Saturday morning, so it's not feasible. So, yeah, we trust the players to just um, prepare as professionally as they can. Obviously, it means an early Saturday night, a bit of uh, an and duck Saturday night takeaway for a few for the first time, and these young players, but you know, it's part and parcel of what they'll have to learn um, if they want to make professionals, and there's a few in that dressing room that will want to, so they'll have to adapt to playing on, on a different day. Um, yeah, an ideal world we could have maybe got a little uh, match prep session in, but it's, it's not to be, so we just um, yeah, go into it and treat it no different. Do you expect the current off-field uh, issues at Dulwich to affect them at all? Do you think it's a good time to play them, a bad time to play them? Um, just from my sort of previous experiences, um, you know, from, from being here and obviously getting the budget cut and stuff uh, when I was here before, um, it seemed to sort of galvanise everyone and bring everyone closer together, so it might have that sort of impact with them. Um, you know, we, we've the off, a lot been spoken about off the field and it can bring a group together and, uh, you know, really give them that momentum to move forward. Um, so, yeah, I know the guys there, Gavin's done a fantastic job, really got a lot of time for him and the style and the way he likes to play. And, um, I think it's proof that, that that kind of style, the style that we like to play, can work in this league. I think Bogner got promoted up the league playing a similar sort of style, trying to get down and play. And, and Dulwich have proved that you can play good football at this level and, and get rewards and, and climb the league with it. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a tough task, but I'm sure we'll have them ready to go for Sunday. Nine games to go now to the end of the year. It's quite a gap between us and the bottom of the table now. Is it a, is a next year creeping into your thoughts or is it just mathematically getting safe yeah. this year and then moving on to next year? I think it would be foolish just to sort of uh, stop the front next season just yet. Um, you know, this is getting mathematically safe and let's finish this season well. Let's get this uh, good group of lads together. Um, you know, that really team spirit's good at the moment. They enjoy coming in, and I enjoy watching them playing and working with them on, on a training night. So um, I think keep them together, keep them enjoying it and hungry to to finish the season well. And then um, yeah, like once things are all mathematically safe, and then we'll start making discussions about next season. But I think it's be foolish, and this game could very quickly. You know, things can change in weeks or long time in this game. So. Um, you know, we've got to, we've got to stay focused and, and finish the season well. Brilliant. Good luck, Sunday Hinch. Nice one, Thank you. Bye. Bye.